So those connections between consciousness within itself, so to speak, from different points of view, connecting with each other, does that mean that they're actually, in a sense, in the room that you're visualizing them in, in your dream? No, not necessarily, if at all. It means that the message of communication is made, and the way that's translated itself into your mind as a symbol is being in a particular room, or being in a particular place, or seeing their body, so that you know it's their particular frequency of consciousness. But, in a sense, you could liken it to a radio antenna. Like you tune the radio to find the proper frequency that's already in the air, it's invisible, you cannot see it without the radio. So your mind, in a sense, is the receiver of that particular frequency. And the more, again, the more we relax, the more expensive our consciousness becomes, the more aware it becomes of these invisibilities, and the more access it has to more channels. So our being, our system, is sort of like a translator of these frequencies. The radio waves in and of themselves don't say anything. They're just waves. But they're translated into sounds that we can understand. So, in a similar way, messages that we get or communications or interconnection that's made between consciousnesses expresses itself in our experience often as a way for us to understand it. Like, it symbolizes it in the form of their body as we remember them. Does that make sense? So that's our radio sort of receiving that song, that particular station. But the communication, the connection is just energy itself. It's not any particular form. It's just energy or consciousness itself communicating directly. And dreams can be one way for us to be more receptive, to create a canvas for that to become visible. It sets the stage. Whereas here we believe we're already living a full life. The stage is already set and we already know the boundaries of our stage, or so we think. But the more we relax, the more contact if desired. Personally, I don't have much contact like that at all because I don't really aim for it, I don't desire it, I don't tune into those kind of frequencies. But if you would have that desire, and you would become more relaxed in your own consciousness, more aware of your authentic self, your deeper self, then you'll have more access to that also during your day-to-day life. In fact, you're probably already having access to it, but just in order for it to be translated more obviously to you, it helps if consciousness is more awake to itself, more expensive. Does that make sense? Again, the key here is, and the joy, the bliss here is, to test this out for yourself. To just try it, give it a shot, again and again and again, and see what happens. And what happens will be perfectly adjusted to you. It doesn't have to be something that appears strange to you that happens to somebody else. The way that this practice empowers you will be perfectly fitted for you, will perfectly match your innate desires. So just try it out and see how it works for you. But it does benefit you in one way or the other. That is my guarantee. If you relax any moment, you have the courage to relax your thoughts for a moment. You will find a benefit of some sort, if even just briefly. But then keep repeating that brief moment and seeing what happens for yourself. It will empower you in the unique way that you are one expression of the one.